everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are opening the Big Bad Box. It is a subscription box from eBay that costs $50 plus $4 shipping. And we opened this last month. We did three of them and we found some pretty darn good stuff in there. And uh, we gave those away. I think Brian won last month's box. We're going to give this month's box away as well. All you have to do to win is be subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment. Just tell me your favorite card that we pull. And like the video, it's as easy as that. And uh, we'll pick a winner at the end of our next live stream, which will be Sunday night. We're going to go back to Museum Collection. It's a super hot release. Uh, the boxes in case of that just keep rising and uh, lots of good stuff to be found in there. So Encore edition of Museum Collection Sunday night. Hopefully you can join us for that. So let's get started. The big bad box you can see has PNC Park featured prominently on the front. And then they have a bunch of stars there from, I forget, uh, this looks like it was, might have been borrowed from a Topps box, maybe like 2000. 13 tops i can't exactly remember but very cool design right there let's get started and see what we can find in the july edition of the big bat box they also have their website right there if you'd like to check them out if you've purchased the big bat box last month let us know how you did what your best hit was and uh we will uh, i guess compare notes and see how about that right on the very top there is one of my favorite packs 2019 top series two just loaded with good rookies i think this is going to tell us what's in here so we'll take a minute and not look at that right now these are some bonus hits i do believe so we are going to uh, hide those for now and uh, see what those are at the end because sometimes if i'm not mistaken i think one of the hits in the last month's ed edition might have been a clayton kershaw rookie card or an autograph rather so there we go all right so we start off with a nice 16 card retail pack of series two and look at this series two from 2018 so as you know tons of good rookies in this release most notably fernando tatis jr aloy jimenez pete alonso and vladimir guerrero jr short print and in this of course not a lot of good rookies besides shoy otani but the big chase is the bat down Ronald Acuna Jr. and Glaber Torres super short print card. So awesome packs right there. We also have a pack of 1987 tops. We'll be chasing after Barry Bonds rookie card along with Barry Larkin. And I think I see some more bonus hits. Uh oh, I I like to save those. For, I guess we'll flip them upside down. And oh man, there's so so much good stuff in there. I do not want to know what they are because I like to be surprised. I like to save the hits for the end. So we'll take these and put those aside. Uh, all right. So our other packs are a 2020 Bowman pack, which is pretty darn good. 2014 Bowman draft hobby pack, a 2015 hobby pack of Don Ross. And we have a bonus pack of diamond kings an eight card bonus pack so how about that check out all of the literature here two retail packs as, as you see there from series two from we got the 2019 version some of you may get the 2020 version and then there are the hobby packs that we pulled from this and um there's a raffle ticket there that they raffle off some top prizes to everybody that um, purchases a big bat box so let's get started We'll open the packs first. I'll cover up those hits. Uh, oh, man, I think I just saw one of them. Pretty excited about that. I see a 90. It looked like a 90 leaf. Look out for that one, everybody. We'll check that one out in a second. Let's start off with 1987 tops and see if we can find Barry Bonds, card number 320. A card I love and um, I will buy um, until it gets too costly. Usually you can pick it up for a dollar or two at most card stores. Um, I probably literally have several hundred of that card is I think the last time I made a big buy was at a card show out in Ohio I think I bought like 50 or 60 of it for a dollar a piece Let's see. We have Harold Reynolds Mike Schmidt all-star card Mitch Williams There's Dennis oil can boy Daryl Evans Joe Necro Willie Upshaw looks like we're not going to get any of the top rookies. Nice Jim Leland card right there. So that was the only older pack. Now it's time to get into all the newer packs. How about we do 2014 Bowman Draft and see what we can find in this product. Some good stuff in here. Some nice rookies. I would like to find a Kyle Schwarber. 
first Bowman. Let's see. We have Josh Morgan, first Bowman. Miguel Amante also looking out for Trey Turner. There's Clint Frazier mini. Future of the franchise card not numbered. Tyler Colick, first Bowman refractor. Mark Appel, who is a huge, absolutely monumental bust as the first overall pick. Never even made the majors. TJ Antone first and Kevin P Padlow. So no good hits there, really. Let's get this wrapper out of here. How about we do 2015 Donruss? This pack feels a little thick. Possibly a relic in here. And uh, there is going to be a spacer or a relic. So let's see what we've got. We've got Tony Gwynn leading things off. Victor Martinez. And unfortunately, it is a spacer. But we'll put that to use maybe in a little bit when we hide our hits. There's Wade Boggs, Kirby Puckett, Nolan Arnano, Aroldis Chapman, Zach Granke back with the Dodgers and David Price when he was with the Tigers. 2015, uh, Don Russ is in the book. Oh, I don't know where to go next. So how about 2020 Bowman? Let's see if we can pull a Dominguez. So far, haven't really had a, a, an absolute standout card from these packs yet that are going to make you be like, wow, I... I definitely need to uh, make sure I'm subscribed and comment. Hopefully we have something coming up soon. Yu Chang is a pretty darn good rookie card. I like him a lot. I'll be watching him to see how his stock rises. Albert Alzole. There's Matt Manning, Drew Waters. We have a Grayson Rodriguez. Unfortunately, no Dominguez Chrome. Nick Solak, rookie card. Mauricio Dubon and Michael Baez. So was hoping for Luis Robert. He's got two cards. In the Bowman set, we didn't find them. Let's move on now to Top Series 2 from 2018 and see if we can find the bat down, which would be pretty darn crazy. This appears to be a 10-card, a it's a hobby packer from a blaster box. Here we go. Jose Osuna leads it off there. Gerardo Parra, Manny Margot, Jacob Faria, and Domingo Santana. There's Lucas Giolito. Our Pujols, Tucker Barnhart. The odds of finding a bat down are pretty tough. Trace Thompson, and as expected, we did not find the bat down, but it was worth a look. Those packs are pretty darn expensive, as are these. Uh, this is another release that keeps going up. Probably a lot of us wish that we could go back to last summer and just raid the, the shelves at Target Walmart and pick up a few blasters of these to put aside, because this is an amazing, amazing set. Let's check it out and see what we can find. Hoping for a Tatis Jr. rookie card or Pete Alonso. We'll see. There's John Moncada throwing the helmet off, caught in the act of making himself look like he runs faster than he is. David Fletcher, nice rookie card right there. I know a lot of people are collecting him now. There's Dakota Hudson rookie card. Jeremy Jeffress screaming up at the sky. Jake Marisnik. We've got Ernie Banks. We found him last night in Throwback Thursday a couple times. 1960 tops last night. That was a fun break. Loved that one. Aaron Judge. Fresh off a big home run in Baltimore the other night to give the Yankees the win. Austin Romine, Sandy Leone. Then we have Scott Kingery, future star cars. And uh, looks like I'm not seeing a landscape card that's going to be the Tatis. But we do have a Matt Kemp when his Reg Uni and Christopher Negron. And that is it. Another spacer for the spacer collection. We have one pack left. And then we will look at all of the extra hits that are in there uh hopefully we have some good stuff some good surprises here we go diamond kings it looks is there a thick card in there uh yeah we have a thick card everybody so it looks like there will be a hit after i hope it's an autograph for you guys there's cody bellinger stan usual ted williams and satchel page gotta get my hands on a 53 satchel page one of these days there's a keston hira on the back, we have Ronald Acuna Jr., two of six card, Roberto Clemente. Now it's time to show you the hit. We are going to come away with at least one hit, and it's our guy, Donnie Walton. <laughs> it is an autograph. It is a dual relic, so youngster there for the Seattle Mariners. Donnie Walton, been seeing a lot of his cards. It seems more so in Panini than Tops, but uh, Donnie Walton definitely signed a lot this offseason along with some other guys. Nice hit right there. All right, so there are some bonus hits in there. I tried to hide them, but let's see what they are. I saw one of them was a 90 leaf. You probably saw it as well. Check out this. It is a Sammy Sosa rookie card, 1990 leaf. It's a PSA 9. That is an amazing card right there. What a giveaway box. Um, so if you were kind of underwhelmed by, despite having some good packs in here and good shots at rookie cards, the... Uh, 
haul from these packs, kind of a little underwhelming. Yeah, we did get a, a an autograph, but uh, how about this? This is my favorite card so far, 1990 Leaf Sammy Sosa Mint Condition PSA 9. Again, all you have to do to win this card and all these other cards is simply be subscribed to this channel. Make sure it's on public so I can verify that you are subscribed. To do that, you go to your settings and um, turn your um, subscriptions to public. And uh, simply leave a comment. Tell me your favorite card and like the video. It is that easy. That's going to be tough to beat. By the way, if you go to thebigbatbox.com, you can save $10 because it's a lot cheaper to sell outside of eBay than on eBay. So there's that little tip. And let's see who these other hits are. I told you we were going to use the spacer. Now let's put it to use and see what we have for these other hits that were in the box. We'll start off at the back. They gave us a couple supplies in case we got an autograph or a big hit. I see a fortune teller, Ronald Acuna Jr. from Gypsy Queen of this year. Nice card right there, not numbered. We have an all-star game Procter & Gamble card, 1992 Mark McGuire. Cool card right there. I used to have that one on my PC. That's a cool one. And we have a, how about a nice Bobby Witt Jr., 1990 Bowman Refractor. A great card right there. Personally, for me, I'm still calling the Sammy Sosa my favorite hit of the box. I mean, that hit alone is worth almost the entire box. This is an extremely hot card nowadays. Uh, nowadays and we have a little bonus pack here let's check this out and there's one final hit upside down looks like a 1985 tops design maybe coming from the 2020 uh, tops product these extra hits are going to be a juan gonzalez how about that one autograph from tops supreme most of you guys the collection in the 90s Probably collected Juan Gone, at least his rookie card is reversed, negative from 1990 Donruss. And we also have, get out of here, Ken Griffey Jr. Relic? A Ken Griffey Jr. Stellar Statman Relic. Awesome, awesome hit right there. How about that? So now, um, I thought everyone was going to say Sammy Sosa rookie card, but I bet a bunch of people will like the Griffey Jr. game use jersey uh, fashioned in the shape of a Seattle S as their favorite very very nice hits right there and there's one more and it is going to be it's a mike trout game use relic mike trout game use jersey how about that guys very very nice so i i, I don't know for me personally i jeez my favorite card if you're asking me the card that i would if if you said Jabs, you can keep one card from the Big Bat Box and have to give all the rest away. I would keep one of these two. I'm not sure exactly which I would go with. Um, I know this card's worth probably, oh, I don't know. This is, It's tough. It's a tie for me. These are both great. Um, amazing stuff. All of it, these two will be given away along with all of the rest of this. Um, we'll just put everything back in the box and we will select a winner during our museum collection And also I think I'm going to be able to get a few boxes of optic choice as well And we'll give all of that stuff away on Sunday night So make sure you join us on Sunday night Thank you very much for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this video Make sure once again you check them out on the bigbatbox.com Pick up a box for yourself and let me know how you do So thank you very much for watching Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already Please like the video and have a great rest of your Friday and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.